from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for January 6, 2016. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USD CHF, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc for today's trade analysis. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days. First off, starting here on the AUD, USD, Australian versus the US dollar. This is the weekly time frame. Of course, we've been studying the long term downtrend, the black trend line that you see there on the chart. It's been in a downtrend for quite a long time, several months, even going back a couple of years now into 2014. Over the past few weeks, though, we've seen the market in a triangle pattern. You can see that red trend line, the two red trend lines down here at the bottom right-hand corner of the chart. Take it on down to the four-hour time frame. You can see the top red trend line of that triangle pattern at the very top. The market last week hit the top of the triangle and has been falling off of there ever since hitting the top of that triangle pattern. Yesterday, we saw the market attempting to break through the orange shaded area here right around the 7170 to 7190 level. I noted during the trade room that if it opened and closed underneath it, we'd be looking for the market to continue to pressure lower down to the blue shaded area. Once it opened and closed underneath it, the rally back into 7170 was the opportunity to get in on a sell here on the Australian dollar. And you can see now we have seen a significant fall off of that 7170 level all the way back down. We've seen over 100 pips now on the trade. That trade for me has been closed out at the 100 pip mark. So I hope that you are able to manage profit if you're still holding sells on the Australian dollar. We'll look for a continuation through the 70. 70 level 7070 is the bottom of the blue shaded area if it holds underneath 7100 we may have another opportunity to get in this if it stays on within and underneath this blue zone but for the now uh closing with 100 pips of profit on the sell from 7170 yesterday on the australian dollar Another trade that we were looking at yesterday is the U.S. Canadian, the U.S. CAD. We were looking for an open and close above the green shaded area, 1.3975. If it stayed above there, open and close. The post that I put out there for members yesterday, an open and close, a buy on a dip to 39.75 was the opportunity. And as you can see, it took a, a dip back down here, 39.75, and now we've seen the market move up over 100 pips on this pair as well. So both currency pairs, Australian dollar and U.S. CAD, closing out with over 100 pips of profit on both of those currencies. So hopefully you were able to take advantage of both of those. And earlier on in the week, we were taking sells on the US yen. That one continues to uh, be bearish. Let me see if I can get it back down here where we can see this. Back over to current time on the four-hour time frame. We've been taking sales. Sales into the blue shaded area earlier on this week have been capitalized on profit as it hit the green shaded area. That trade also has been closed out as it hit the bottom of the green zone, closing us out with our profit uh, from the blue zone, which was up here into the 11950 level, down into the green zone. We can see 85 to 90 pips, even uh, approaching that 100 pip mark down here for the US yen. So three trades uh, this week also hitting the 100 pip mark on those entries. Now moving on over to the USD CHF. US dollar versus the Swiss franc, of course, we've been studying the previous uptrend, the downtrend over the past few weeks, stuck inside this congestion, this black box over the past few weeks prior to the holiday mode. Let's take it on down to the four hour time frame. We could see that currently we're sitting above this green shaded area. We broke above the parity level, the pink zone, found congestion, dip, and breakout. We found congestion here above the green zone. I've actually adjusted that a little yesterday from the trade room. It currently sits at 1.0070 down to 0.055. That's the green shaded area here. For the day today, as long as it stays above there, I think we're looking for buying opportunities and a continuation of the uptrend momentum that we're seeing here for the U.S. franc. Targeting, once again, the yellow shaded area. So the way we're going to reduce risk and maximize our potential profit back to the yellow zone is allow the market to come back down towards the 1.0070 level. I have a pending order sitting right at 1.0070 to take me in if the market dips. That's another uh, 20 pips lower for the current market price. So it needs to dip about 20, 25 pips, take us into the trade before it heads back up to the yellow shaded area. It may or may not do that. We'll have to watch that as the day progresses. But 
that is the trade opportunity that I'm looking for today. Uh, if it breaks under the green zone, of course, I'll be out of it. I want to put my stop loss underneath the 0050 level or so because if it breaks the green zone, I don't want to stay in it too long, likely heading on back down towards the parity level in the pink shaded area if it does that. So watching for the market to stay above the 50 to 70 level, targeting back to the 10125 to 50 level, that's the yellow zone. Of course, if we can break above that yellow shaded area, we'll look for a continuation of the uptrend pattern all the way back up here into the 1.0200 level, the orange shaded area at the very top of the chart. So in the direction of the trend, in the direction of the momentum, breaking through the 50% of the previous downtrend range, we're looking for the next Fibonacci levels, the next resistance level to be reached at 1.0125 for the U.S. franc. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.